as promised. Here is the book on penguins. Penguins live in some of the coldest places on earth, in a world of ice and snow. But you can also find penguins on sunny beaches and on grassy islands by clear blue seas. Here are some snares island penguins. Down here are the African penguins. I think the African penguins you can actually see at the San Diego Zoo. There are nearly 20 different kinds of penguins. The emperor penguins are the biggest and those live in Antarctica. Fairy penguins are the smallest. Chinstrap penguins have a black stripe under their chin. Yellow penguins have yellow eyes. Rock hopper penguins have a feathery yellow crest on their heads. I think this is the penguin that's used in Happy Feet, or at least one of them. I remember one of them has. I haven't seen that in a long time, but that's a cute movie. Penguins might come in different sizes, but they are all the same shape. Webbed feet, big beak, sleek feathers, short neck, and a stiff tail. They have long bodies covered in feathers and stumpy little legs. People sometimes will try to walk like a penguin and they do the waddle because they have short legs. Penguins are, kind of, are a kind of bird. Most birds can fly, fly but not penguins. Their wings are too small for flying and their bodies are too heavy to get off the ground. Penguin. Penguins use their wings for swimming instead. Their wings are known as flippers. Hmm, who else has flippers? Penguins plop into the water head first and dive down deep. Underwater, hungry penguins hunt for food. They don't, oh no, they dart after fish and sea creatures called krill. A penguin snaps up some krill in its sharp pointy beak. He swallows it whole and in one big gulp. So they don't have teeth for chewing, right? Because they have a beak. Every now and then penguins have to pop up for air. To get out of the water, a penguin heads for the surface at full speed. Then, whee! Looks like it jumps, doesn't it? Once a year, the penguins leave the sea. They travel ac across land to the place where they were born. Penguins can't walk fast. They waddle along on their webbed feet. And this is the emperor penguin. That's making the long trek. Penguins on ice sometimes swap onto their tummies and push with their feet. <laughs> when they arrive, the penguins gather in huge groups called rookies. These, stre these stretch as far as the eye can see. So all the way back here, thousands of penguins. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Rookies, rookeries, sorry, not rookies, rookeries are very noisy places. All the penguins are trying to find a partner. The male and female penguins call to each other. African penguins bray like donkeys. King penguins make trumpeting noises. Penguins bow and flap their flippers too. They all get into the penguin pairs, then the female begins. Penguin lays an egg. Inside the egg, a baby penguin starts to grow. The baby penguin is called a chick, just like all the other birds. At first, the chick is just a red blob. After 10 days or so, it starts to take shape. By the time it is ready to come out, the chick fills the egg. Wow, look at that. <coughs> Excuse me. Eyes... No, eyes, what is Miss, Kate's, Miss Kate reading? Eggs must be kept warm so the chicks inside can grow. Most penguins build nests and sit 
on their eggs. Other penguins dig burrows. But some penguins just balance the egg on their feet. And that is the emperor penguin. They can they cover the egg when they flap with a flap of skin to keep it snug. Beep, beep. At last the penguin chip chick is ready to come out. It pecks a hole in the side of the egg. It pecks and pecks until the top of the egg comes off and finally the chick climbs out. At first, penguin chicks only have fluffy feathers. They can't swim or feed for themselves. Penguin parents go to the sea to find food. In cold weather, chicks huddle together to keep warm. The chicks can't eat whole food yet, so penguin parents swallow down their food. Then bring it back up as a thick paste to feed it to their chicks. I know that sounds really gross to us as humans because we don't do that. But what we do is mash the food in purees, right? So any of those pouches like applesauce that you guys probably still eat today, that's how we get babies to eat solid foods at, at first. When a chick is a few months old, it starts to grow shiny new feathers. Here's a four-month-old, a six-month-old. Wow, look at the difference between a six-month-old and a six-and-a-half-month-old. Very, very different. And a seven-month-old. Wow, that looks like a fully grown penguin. The old feathers fall off in patches. It is a scruffy time for penguins. Then the chicks waddle to the sea for the first time. They plop into the water and dive down deep. They chase fish and catch some in their sharp beaks. They're ready to take care of themselves. For the next few years, the young penguins live far out at sea. But one day, when they are old enough, they return to the rookery where they were born. There they will get into pairs and have chicks of their own. And that's it. That's the end. I hope you guys enjoyed this book. And um, let me know your thoughts. Tell me what you think. See you soon. Bye.